Yo, what's up, everybody? What's up, YouTube? And I'm back with another video I want to do for today. The video I want to talk about about the Texas rap scene. Okay, the video I'm talking about today is about the Texas rap scene. Why the Texas rap scene start to um flourish, you know, all through the um years, you know, Ohio, how each. Um, state rap scene is flourishing. How how each rap scene can be, um, you know, on different states. You know, like Texas, Alabama, Georgia, um, Louisiana. Like yeah, these are um yeah. Okay, this video I want to you know discuss on why rappers you know some made it, some died. You know, some are you know some still doing music, but. Cause we all want to, you know, discuss about, you know, about the Texas rap scene real quick. Okay. Okay, okay I think Texas rap scene, you know, started to evolve throughout the 1990s, you, you know, back in the 80s and 90s. Like, the Texas rap scene started to, you know, um, I say be one of the most good markets, you know, basically in rap history. Like, Texas rap scene, you know, they got the Ghetto Boys. They got like um Powwow, Kamina, um they got a lot of rappers back then like um Mike Jones, um they got a lot of um you know old school set of rappers, you know. Like some rappers from the from the um nineties and the um two thousands and now they got um they got um Yellow Beezy, you know, the other rappers like um Travis Scott, um you know, the other rappers that's, that's basically popular or popping, you know, I, you know, I said Dallas, Houston, um, Fort Worth, Texas, like, yeah, these rappers that's popular in the whole town, they're from, like, um, Dallas, Texas, Houston, Texas, you know, Houston, Texas being on for a while, like, um, like, rappers from Houston, Texas, like, um, you know, they use, like, you know, a lot of, um, lyric, um, you know, in their songs, like, um, Kamina from Houston, you know, and power off Houston, like these two rappers is from Houston, Texas, like, you know, you know, I forgot Scarface and the Ghetto Boy, like you know, until rappers just start to, you know, start to um get more more notice and more recognized, you know, like, you know. Yeah, I say Middle States, you know, kinda has me that um I said it hasn't got like, you know, many um artists they come from that type of um state, like Texas, like you know some Texas rappers, you know, they get popular over time, they get popular and they get um, you know, local fame. And like these rappers, you know, down you know, I kinda listen to on radio on you know, based on YouTube, like um yeah, Scarface. Yeah, Scarface was the rapper from the Ghetto Boys, you know. Like um, you know, Scarface um, you know, R. P. Pusha Bill and um, Willa D. You know, with some other rappers that's you know been popular back in the um, you know, back when I was born. You know, but <laughs> yeah, Scarface was number one rapper that um, you know, that list too on um, YouTube. You know, Scarface, you know, got like you know, many albums. You know, they made back then like um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Scarface was number one. Um, you know. Old rapper, you know, Oscar Robert, they've been out back in the 90s, you know. You know, some of these, um, you know, rappers I've listened to, but then some of them are, I said, be well known for their, you know, for their, um, hit songs, you know. But Scarface made the song, um, um, hold on. Let me see, I think right around 91, I think, um, Scarface made his, his, um, his hit song called, um, My Patriots on this song. You know, with the ghetto boys, you know, yeah. the song's more, um, more prevalent in today's time. Like, um, you know, a lot of rappers who worry about, you know, basically, um, drugs, sex, um, murder, uh, you know, poverty. But the things that Scott was talking about is basically, you know, about how he was, you know, basically in the hood on how Scarface music is basically more, um, yeah, I say it's more um privilege. 
Yeah, I say it's more about on how 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 he lasted in the um hip hop scene, you know, on how Scarface they made his 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 um albums back then. You know, it was like some of the albums go, some of them, you know, went platinum, but yeah, Scarface had on um, his his um first taste of fame, you know. But when he was probably with the ghetto boys, you know. Yeah, the Gap Boys was like, um, you know, but your bill was from, um, oh, first we get to Gator Boys real quick. Okay. The Gator Boys got, um, Scarface, Bush Bill, Woody D, um, some other people that came after, I don't know, I think people who, um, yeah, hey, um, you know, I started the group back then, um, I said back in the 80s, and, um, yeah, I think, um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think Pusha Bill had started the um being a group as being a dancer. So uh, he started being dancing in the group back in the eighties, and he started rapping. And Pusha Bill had um you know Scarface and Will D, you know they came. I said back around the late night. Um, hold on, I think they came back around the late um the late eighties. You know, uh, to where they got a lot of like um. Members, you know, left the group or some had, um, you know, returned the group or they started to be in the group. Like, some of these rappers from the Ghetto Boys, you know, they started, um, you know, get more popular for their songs. Like, um, you know, my pet shrinks on me, um, um, uh, damn, damn, uh, hold on, yeah, damn, if it could be a gangster song, um, you know, so much song they made in the past, like um, you know, my Patrice on me, um How you feel good to be a gangster and um let's see what they made back then, um yeah, they made a lot of songs back then though, but um yeah. I said that, um, you know, the group, um, you know, had um yeah, some had died, Scarface, you know, um I wish you had died in last year and um, you know, some of my rappers that you know started but so the next uh, rapper I'm talking about is um C Scrubs. Okay, Scrubs, um he from Dallas, Texas, you know, he started his his um his rap career back in the um late twenty um twenty teens, I think. I don't know what what year he started his his rap career, but like um yeah. C Scrubs has started his rap career, um, you know, back then, you know, he started getting a lot of buzz in, in you know in Dallas, you know, on how he started to get his buzz up and how his um record start to take off, but yeah, this <laughs> I think um C Scrubs um life was basically um I say more in balance to when he was trying to, you know, struggle for being a rapper than he trying to, you know, um, you know, be type of you know, of a screw dude, you know, on how C Scrubs Start to you know get more, more nose and more fame, you know. And I mean, all this from Texas, like, yeah, some, some from Texas, like, um, yeah, some get money, some getting like you know local fame, some get popular, some get big, or some not get big. But sometimes, like, you know, uh, like Texas rappers getting like probably you know, um, local fame because, like, you know, once you get local fame, is that you're not really. Uh, get much bigger. Like folks get local fame, you know. When they get the, the um the money, and they I said never reach the top of um says ladder. Like people get probably you know local fame, you know, or because I'm gonna go to the club, you know, screw girls. I guess I don't know, but like yeah, I think more how the lifestyle could be on on how this person can be like a local rapper. Like she's us it's probably like a local rapper. You know, they cheat like um, you know, someone that choose local fame, but like um your local fame can be, you know, not long lasting. I don't know. Yeah, it's kinda of like a short term um career goal, I don't know, that to reach on um, the local fame or local status, you know, but yeah, I think the scrubs, you know, start to, you know, get in, you know, local fame because, you know, his you know, it yeah, I say all his um rap um you know uh, mistakes, you know, and um yeah, he died 
from think from cancer or from some other stuff. So I keep to him. Okay, the millionaire. Okay, the millionaire was um my brother from from um his Texas, you know. Yeah, he's his um song he made back then was um riding with um featuring um Crazy Bone. He can millionaire um career start to blossom back in the um mid um yeah I said back mid yeah I said back around the mid mid two um, thousands to when he is his um you know I said around five you know to when he started his own own um on career. So I think he started with Power Wall back then, back in the um, late 90s, I think, you know, with mistakes he did, you know, um, with him, but like, um, yeah, Power Wall and, um, you know, um, yeah, I said Power Wall, it can be now, I say we're both rappers that trying to, you know, choose that type of a uh, route, you know, be like a rapper, like, um, yeah. It, it, and I think he, um, you know, started rapping and he could rap. I think he could, like um, yeah. I think he started rapping back um back then. I don't know. I think he started rapping or choosing another career goal. So, but so. Okay, my next one is gonna be Power Wall. Okay, Power Wall from Houston, Texas. So, yeah, Power Wall was a rapper that he you know started with um Camino, but like um, Power Wall was a um, he was a rapper that known for his his um. His um hit singles, you know, back then, but like um, yeah, I said we're back in the um mid early two thousands. I think he did his albums, but like um, yeah, yeah, that Power Wall basically. I think he's still rapping now, so but yeah, he's still you know basically relevant in the um Houston rap scene. So okay, next rapper is gonna be Yellow Busy. Okay, yeah, Busy was a rapper from Dallas, Texas, and um. Yeah, his um his song was called um That's a Mean Baby song. So yeah, his song was basically, you know, um popping in um basically everywhere now. So his um his song was basically popular and he started, you know, making his own uh lane in the rap music industry. So Okay, my next one is gonna be um Delayed Pimp C. Pimp C was a rapper that's from um the group, um the group from UK group, yeah he was best known for you know you know making his songs back then so, uh, so, so he died oh seven so I'll to Pimp C so, so much sure like comment subscribe and God bless Amen.